down to the dungeon. I'm Chris for Good Roads, and today I want to talk to you about pressing skateboards. Every press that I've ever had for making decks, you've either had to manually pump air out of a bag, or you had to sit there and crank down bolts and nuts, and I'm tired of doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a, an electric mechanical press so that I can press boards, hopefully, at the push of a button. And the first thing that we need is something that can exert a lot of force. And what we're going to use for that are these. These are one and a half ton-ish. The specs were really not clear from listening to the listing, but one and a half ton ATV motorcycle jacks. And they just work like a scissor lift. There's a machine screw in there, and as you turn the screw, the jack raises and lowers. But before I did a ton of work, Building out the whole press, I wanted to do a couple tests to make sure that the jacks would be strong enough to compress the layers and mold skateboards. I made a super quick and dirty test mold out of high density insulation foam, just to have an example of some curves. And then I did a test with 8th inch Baltic birch, and I did a test with veneers, just to see if different materials would compress differently and if, if the jacks were strong enough to do both. And the tests went really well. There was drip out, and when I pulled the test blanks out of the mold, they kept their shape, and that gave me enough confidence that these jacks would be the right tool for the job. So we have things that are going to push really hard onto our molds and squish all of our veneers and glue together. And the next thing we need is a frame to house all this in that's going to be really strong and really rigid so that when these are pushing with all of the force that they can apply, the frame stays and all of that force goes into pushing our layers together. So let's do it. Frame's done. Look at this beast. It's huge. 
It's four feet long, 48 inches, so we can do racing boards, we can do mountain boards, we could probably do some powder surfers because we can extend the molds back out beyond the reach of the frame a little bit. And it's super rigid, I obviously cannot press with the force of three tons, but it's not going anywhere, I can hang off the thing. So I'm super happy and proud of this thing, honestly. I've never made anything quite so metalwork intensive before, and uh, it was really fun to do. So the way this is going to work is the jacks are going to live down in the frame and they're going to be powered by high torque electric motors. I'm going to be using some windshield wiper motors. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with a linkage yet, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. And the whole idea is that these will raise up. You'll put your molds here and they will squish the molds. They'll, they'll squish the molds but you'll have this super rigid frame for them to push against so that all the lifting force of the jacks will be going right into squishing the veneers together. And I would guess that the, the frame will flex a little bit, but I think it'll probably be plenty strong enough to hold up. The next thing that I want to do is make sure that all of that force is distributed. So I'm going to make a platform for the jacks to rest on. I'm going to make a platform to go on top of the jacks. I'm going to make a platform to suspend from the top of the frame. And what that's going to do is give me a nice big surface area over which the force of these jacks will be distributed. And that means that we'll get a more even pressure within our mold and we'll be less likely to have D-land, which is awesome. So that's going to be the next video. Really excited with how this is going. And I'll see you soon.